going to ask, so when you're swirling the wine, mm -hmm. not only is that to, um, I believe it's to bring out the smell, but also Absolutely. You're, you're using it to show, so you can see those different things in the wine. Absolutely. The Basically, you're getting, if you go like this, you, know, you want to be pretty careful about it, otherwise. It'll, don't spill You, you don't want to right. on your fellow panelists here, but you can see that basically the alcohol, it's going to wind up, you know, see how fast it winds up going down. So. And, and what does that tell you? Basically, it gives you a little bit of an indication of the alcohol content, how, how strong the, how, how much alcohol is actually in there. Well, I have, I have a different totally answer to this one go, afterwards. But, go uh, ahead. I'm going to let you jump uh, in. Well, the tears actually are, are more of a function of uh, glycerol. Certainly alcohol is a function, but also just total dissolved solids in the wine, which sounds like a very scary term, but you think about it, wine is this wonderful soup of chemicals and flavors, which then we translate as an enjoyable experience usually. Um, but if there is more oak on the wine, if there is more sugar in the wine, if there is elevated levels of alcohol in the wine, if there's more uh, you know, dissolved uh, tartrates in the wine, um, you know, if the wine has been macerated on its skins for a long amount of time, uh, there'll be more color in the tears, which means, you know, so it's not just a function of alcohol, but it's, it's you're kind of starting to get a sense of, you can't tell how much alcohol is in the wine, but you can kind of start to tell the body of the wine. Um, by these tiers, and that's kind of the biggest indication that you'll be able to pick up from the tiers.